Hello, Leo. Rambling Mike here. Gonna play a little tarot with you today. Thanks for tuning in one more time, my Leo friends. I appreciate it. Appreciate you hitting that like button while you're thinking about it. Hitting that subscription button if you haven't done that yet. Thank you for that. Appreciate all your support. Very kind of you. Also, all my Leos that have reached out and blessed me with donations. Many of you. Thank you very much. I appreciate it all. Got the old wounded warrior that jumped out right there. Wounded warrior and the world card. Looks like some old cycles are ending. That's been coming up in Leo's readings for a while. And new cycles coming in from my Leos. But I want to thank you, Leo, for all your donations. Appreciate them all, large or small. Leo, if you bless me with a donation, thank you. And a big shout out and thank you to all my Ramblin' Nation members. I love you guys. Thank you for all your continued support. Month after month, appreciate it all. Uh, some of the perks that are with membership with Ramblin' Nation is you definitely get to see these videos before anybody else. Many times up to a week in advance, um, at least 24 hours before I release them to the general public. But you get a look at them first. Also, another thing that I do with my members is I have members only live readings every Wednesday night, 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, my next one is going to be June 17th, 5 p.m. I like to give away a lot of stuff to my members. Pulled out a pink winner winner chicken dinner. Going to be giving away that on the 17th. I got a gray ooey gooey soft and chewy t-shirt. The only place you can get those is, well, in Ramblin' Nation. I'm uh, going to be giving away two tarot decks. I love tarot. I love t-shirts. I'm uh, giving away the Golden Art <laughs> Nouvelle. I don't know how to say French, guys. Uh, it's a gold foil deck. It's absolutely gorgeous. I'm also going to be giving away the Sun and Moon Tarot. Um, these are nice. In the tin. I like them. Uh... You can throw them in your glove box. The ladies can throw them in their bag. You can always uh, have a tarot deck available to you. Uh, I want to show you a couple cards, huh? Some Leo cards out of the uh, golden deck here. It's a gold foil deck. This thing's gorgeous. Here's the old sun card. And it's gorgeous. I've modified these. I cut all the borders off them. Here's the strength cards. Gorgeous. If you'd like to take a look at some of my modified decks, check out my playlist, Ramblin' Mike's Modified Tarot. And Oracle decks. I have over 70 decks available. There's the King of Wands, Leo. Got Five of Wands. That's Saturn and Leo. Six of Wands. That's Jupiter and Leo. There it is. Got Seven of Wands. That is Mars and Leo. Uh, so if you'd like, hit that join button. Uh, see you on Wednesday night, huh? Um, if you can't find the join button, if it isn't there, there's always a link down below in all my description areas uh, for uh, take you over to that membership page. I'm, go I'm putting these back in here because I'm going to play with this deck tonight. As a clarification, on my Leo spread, I want to give a couple shout outs real quick to some of my Ramblin' Nation members that have YouTube channels. First one I want to shout out is Jessica Dufour. Uh, earlier this week, I did a video with Jessica Dufour. Um, it's on her channel. It's posted right now. I did a spread um, sacred masculine energy and sacred feminine energy at this particular point in time. It's a nice read. It's powerful. Check it out if you'd like. That's Jessica Dufour, D-U-F-O-U-R. Uh, another uh, member I want to shout out is Camella's Crystal. Love you, Camella. Love your channel. Uh, she's an amazing reader, bilingual. She has a, a Russian channel, uh, which she calls Camella's Tarot, T-A-R-O. And uh, Camella's Crystal is the English version 
of her channel. Amazing, accurate stuff. Really good, Camilla. It gets better every time I look at it. Thank you, Sunshine. And I definitely want to shout out a good friend of mine, Jin TV Tarot. Love you, Jen. Uh, your reads get better every time. Check her out, man. She's funny, um, enlightened, informative, nice reads. All right. Check him out. Give him a like. Give him a subscribe. You guys know how to bless people. All right. Here we go. Here we go. This reading will be for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. A little look see I love right here for my Leos, huh? Nice, man. I asked Source to put these out from a first-person perspective, but I can play out vice versa, you know. You know if you see yourself in this story or you know if you see your friend in this story. And that's what these are about right here. Fun. So let's have some fun today, play with a little tarot. Let's go with this right here. I'm going to tune in. Hey, Terry, love team. Leo's here to play with us today. Let's tell them what they need to know most for their highest good. I want to thank you for clarity and accuracy on my part. Help me see, help me speak what I need. Help Leo see and hear what they need out of this read today. Let's take all these amazing pictures and put together a nice, clear, accurate story for Leo's highest good. Thank you so very much for that love team. I cannot do this without you. Appreciate you, my guides. Here we go, Leo. Cutting the deck. <clears throat> gonna give you a nice full spread so I hope you brought some snacks here we go Leo first card out wow right there Leo my queen of love right in the middle of your Celtic cross that's Cancer Pisces Scorpio that's my empath that's the one with psychic abilities the dreamer it is agape love to me. It's unconditional love. There may be some kind of unconditional love floating around here in this read this evening, but it's definitely a very spiritual card, a very high vibration card of love, unconditional love. Let's see what crosses over top of it. Eight cups on top of that. Uh, well... <clears throat> you know, this could very well be my Leo right here. Because this is, you know, I mean, my people that watch me, these are the empaths. You know, the ones with psychic abilities, my dreamers, my healers. Eight cups could have been somebody that walked away from you at one time. Very interesting. Eight cups on top of the queen of love. Really not sure where that's going right there. If somebody walked away from you, Leo, or you walked away from uh, somebody else. Let's see where this goes. Base of the spread. I mean, come on. Here comes the sun. Here comes the sun. That's Leo right there. Base of the spread. It is a strong card. Soulmate, twin flame, life partner. <clears throat> It is a best card in the tarot deck. It's about abundance, prosperity, the good life, the sun shining in our lives. It's in the past right there. Somebody walked away from some kind of amazing love. I'm not sure if it's my Leo or somebody else. I mean, it's Leo right there. Could have been, could have been somebody walked away from my Leo, so. Knuckleheads right there. They could have water in their chart. A lot of water right there. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Interesting spread right here with agape love right in the middle. Somebody walking away from it. And the sun at the base of the spread. Here we go. Here we go. Got the moon card. Wow, the sun and the moon. Uh, we have the sun and the moon here. This is sacred masculine energy. This is sacred feminine energy. Major arcanas on the board. Uh, we got some kind of eclipsed moon right here. Maybe maybe something's going to change up right here with this uh, these eclipses. We, we got another eclipse. I think it's on the 21st. And then we got another eclipse in July. And eclipses eclipse things and people suddenly in and out of our lives. Also, you know, we got a Venus retrograde going on right now. Right behind that, a Mercury retrograde. Whole stellium of planets are in retrograde right now. So it could bring back love 
But the moon card right there, again, that's Cancer Pisces. Cancer Pisces got Leo Major Arcana right there. Yeah, it could be somebody that uh, wants to come back down this path right here. You know, the moon card, there's been some damn towers between these two. We'll get in the story a little bit more. Why would the little crab right there, little crab wants to go down this road right here? Why? Because they know that the sun's shining down there. Yeah, somebody walked away from somebody. I would say that they, uh, you know, they're not too thrilled with the fact that they ate a cup something right here, probably with my Leo. You know, and this is a little card about being a little bit fearful and uh, desiring to make that approach, but it's a smoky trail. They're not sure how to get down that path right there. Interesting, Leo. Here we go. It crowns the spread. Nine of Pentacles is on top of the spread. This is my independent, self-assured, confident business person. Earth energy, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. Again, this could this could very well be uh, the individual that may have walked away. It could be my Leo. Somebody's single here. That's a single card. Somebody's single, and they made an error from what I can see right here. I'm just going to read cards. They walked away from the Queen of Love. They walked away from the sunshine, and since then, it's been the, the moon in their world, you know, a smoky trail. This is somebody that's, uh, you know, this is somebody that's been working on themselves. I'm going to get this read right here. It's a little tricky. A lot of cards to come out. I'm going to get this thing. Uh, this is my independent, self-assured, confident business person, you know. And it, um, it's a single card. It's somebody that's single because they choose to be single. Uh, because they're waiting for the right person to come in. You know, I kind of feel that somebody may have walked away from my Leo right here. And my Leo just, you know, this is a very high vibrational card. It's Minor Arcana Empress. Um, you know, it's somebody that's quite successful with life. Uh, <laughs> they got all those nine coins that go back to their big, beautiful house and their beautiful garden with their beautiful silk gear. Let's see where the spread's going. Oh. It's going towards a union, Leo. Four of Wands came out. The old 1111 card right here. Fire energy. Here is Leo Sagittarius. And this is an upgrade in a relationship. You know, I'm not sure. I, you know, I'm going to read it from Leo's perspective. This, this says that this is somebody that walked away from their queen of love, my sunshine, the Leo right there. When they did, they they, <laughs> they went on the old moon path right there. And um, <laughs> and have been a bunch of towers and all kinds of crazy shit going on in their life, but possibly during these moon cycles right here, uh, they they may come knocking at your door, Leo. You know, this is an upgrade in a relationship. It's a, it's the old eleven eleven card. It's the old twin flame. That that the sun the sun is a twin flame card too, as well. <sighs> this is probably Leo, my self assured confident business person right here waiting for the right one you know this is the right one you know this is preparing for the big day it's preparing for the big day so i got a leo right here preparing for the big day because I, I i think somebody somebody's going to get their courage up and uh come and approach their queen of love one more time or king of love huh here we go let me see what we got no. Oh, I got the Queen of Swords right there. Uh-oh. Oh. You know, and that's Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. It's in the position of how Leo would see the situation. You know, that's our, that's our Queen of Swords. That's our Ice Queen. She has her sword raised up right there. She has a sword raised up, you know. And she's cold and detached on the outside, but inside she's ooey-gooey. Soft and chewy, full of agape love. She has some butterflies flying around her. That's because I see transformation coming here. Got the old ice queen sitting by the sun, you know. It's melting all that. It's melting all that little 
icy heart right there. She's going to turn her back into the queen of love right here from what I see. She got her sword up because somebody, somebody probably walked away from her. But they didn't, they, they didn't go anywhere special. They, they went to the dark, smoky trail of the moon, you know, while Leo just rocked it right here. Right there, you know, solid, just uh, putting it together. That's that's self-love. That's healthy selfishness right there. You now putting yourself first in life and let them figure it out right there, you know. Just let it happen. Here it comes, but I see, you know, the, uh, the sword up, you know. You know, I know who's been painting my white roses red. Mm-hmm. I see the old Queen of Swords right there. Here we go. Here we go, Leo. What have we got? Ooh. Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles came out, which is a card of reciprocity, equal give and take. It is It is that Libra energy. And it's just that gentleness of life. You know, what you sow is what you're going to reap. So if the person that you were playing with right here, the one that actually walked away from you, wasn't uh, playing right with you to begin with, not equal give and take with you. That's probably why the moon's here. It's probably what they got back in life, you know, was no equal give and take wherever they went. You know, what to sow is what you're going to reap. Uh, we're all going to learn this one day, you know. That's why we walk in love. We walk in light because we know that what we sow is what we're going to reap. So we want to reap love and we want to reap light i see you know for four pinnacles to come after eight of cups and the moon they're gonna have to come in with equal give and take aren't they let's see what we got right here yeah the golden coin this is an offer this is an offer coming in <laughs> that's the old golden coin is that um it's the cornerstone of the Ten of Pentacles, the quintessential universal dream, the little white picket fence, the big pink house, the loving couple. It's the it's the cornerstone of it. You know, she has nine pentacles. It looks like uh, somebody's going to come in here and give my Leo an offer. There's that tenth pentacle. Making that ten. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like it, Leo. The only problem with the golden coin is that it may have taken a hell of a long time for this to come together because they were on a smoky trail over here. That old moon trail, that thing can be, uh, you know, confusing, discombobulated, uh, interacting with people that aren't straight with them, towers all over that world right over there. While Leo just rocked it right here with nine of pentacles. This is definitely a solid offer coming in. They know it was the sun in the past. They're going to approach you, you know. I see the sword raised up. You know, nobody knows what's best for you, but let's keep our eyes open. Let's do make sure that they come in with six pentacles for you, huh, Leo? What we got here? Outcome. The star. What, 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 Leo? The star's showing up here for you. That's that, that's that card of great hope, great faith. The potential of your dreams to become reality. We have the sun, the moon, and the stars in this reading, Leo. What? The four of wands. This is a divine relationship right here. They walked away. They walked away, didn't they, Leo? They walked away, but I'm telling you, they walked into the moon. They didn't. They walked away from the sun. They remember the sun. See it back there? They're like, oh my God, how do I get back this down this trail to my sun? This Aquarius may mean something to you, may not. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Huh? That is a card of healing. That is a card of destiny. It shows our golden angelic being with the two cups in their hands. The two cups always talk about the true love to me. It's right here above four of wands. It's right here by our 
independent, self-assured, confident business person who um, is single, single because they choose to be, single because they're waiting for the right one to come back into their life or to, or to show up in their life. Here it comes. Here comes the star, the golden coin. May it took a hell of a long time for this to manifest, but this is manifesting, Leo. You know, it's, it's you know, one, one cup pouring in the water and one cup pouring on the earth right there. These are some divines that have been in separation. Um, this is... <laughs> this is the sun, the moon, and the stars. The universe bringing these two back together again. May have taken a while. The golden coins coming in, the cornerstone. The cornerstone, you know, preparing for the big day. Four of Wands. This is fucking gorgeous. <laughs> Leo, Leo, don't cut them, Leo. Don't cut them. Make sure they come in with six pinnacles. It is here. And it sits right on top of this, you know, the moon. I think they're fearful about approaching you because they know that they they screwed up, man. They seriously know they screwed up right here. Yeah, you know, so let's see. Bottom of the deck, what have we got? Oh, the chariot. Of course, the chariot's coming in. Brump, 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 bum, 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 here they come. Yeah, this is cancer. May mean something to you, may not. It's a major arcana. It's number seven, the chariot card. Ha definitely has our black pony and our and our light pony. Huh? The old yin yangers right there. There they are. The old wild ponies. But somebody, Leo, huh? Tuned in, tapped in, turned on to the divine. Somebody was driving their chariot exactly where they wanted it to go. Not where the wild ponies wanted it to go. <laughs> I like it. May have pulled you out of your comfort zone. The old charioteer is coming out of the city right there, splashing through all these emotions of life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. They've been watching you for a while too, Leo. There's a little spy card right there. Our little spy card. Our little princess of swords. Yeah. yeah they'd be, they be watching there, Leo. And it's a card of communication. You know, there's communication. There's, there's communication breakthrough right here. Yeah, there's going to be communication. There's, there's probably been some silence here for a while with that old moon card and secrets and mysteries and all of that. We know, we all know these wild pony journeys by now if you've been watching old Ramblin' for a while. But here they come. They've been watching you, Leo. They've been watching you. Aquarius, uh, Libra, Gemini energy right here. Air energy. Um... I would say they don't like where they're at because those look like seagulls to me flying around up there, huh? Bah, bah, there ain't no eagles flying around. Here's the eagle. Ah, right there, that hawk, right there, man. Ain't no hawks flying around there. Ain't no eagles flying around. Bunch of seagulls in there. Were, oh, the moon. Mm, the moon, the towers, the moon, the smoky trail. Oh, shit, man. They screwed up and they walked away from their queen of love. Yes, they did. And it is the King of Pentacles. Look at that. The catch. The catch has showed up. They probably see my Leo as the catch. Again, nine Pentacles. It looks like somebody may have changed. Somebody may have grown up. They want, they, I mean, this is that same golden Pentacle right here. Yeah. Because I say she's waiting for the right one. Here comes the King of Pentacles with the golden coin. You can see it in his hand right there. That golden coin. The one that's over here in the hopes position for Leo. Here it comes. They've been watching you. They've been watching you. Looks to me like they're going to get in their chariot and come see their Leo. And, uh... <laughs> Have their, put their best foot forward because they need to. This person needs to put their best foot forward because if they don't, off with their blooming head. Mm. Bailiff, remove them from the courtroom before we, we remove their blooming head. I see them coming in here, man. You know, because this is my new age princess. This is somebody that's learning about new age philosophies learning that they're creating their own world by what they think, what they feel, and what they believe. Maybe an age difference here, too. Come on. We all know these cards, right? Maybe an age difference. Many times with these kind of 11-11s, there's 
age differences, cultural differences. Come on, we know it. Religious differences, spiritual differences, all those things. All those old paradigms that these divine unions are pulling down. They're not taking this stuff into the age of Aquarius right here. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I like it very much. Yeah, and there's the Leo card. Strength from the universe. Somebody taming the beast on the inside of themselves. Somebody getting tuned in, tapped in, turned on to the divine right there. That infinity, that infinity symbol. You know, um, it's a nice passionate card too. I mean, I like the strength card. It's full of passion and, you know, lusty energy and all that. I love it, man. It's very nice. They are highly attracted to you, Leo. Definitely, definitely. And Five of Pentacles, um, they don't like being out in the cold. They're watching you. They're watching you. They know that you're rocking with or without them, Leo. They know, they see it. They want their sun, their moon, and their star back in their life. Five of Pentacles, you know, that's my two soulmates that come play with each other incarnation after incarnation. And when one feels left out in the cold, the other one feels it as well. These 1111s right here. And uh, there they go, man. Somebody's going to take a leap of faith. This is Aquarius, it's Aries, it's Uranus, the planet of sudden change. This could come in suddenly. You know, these eclipses, like I said, bring people in suddenly. Eclipse people out suddenly, too. You know, got the, got the fool right there and the, the little doggy. Look out, fool, you're about to jump off the cliff. But the fool's like, that's all right, I was laying on my feet anyway. Okay, sirrah, sirrah. Whatever will be, will be, Geronimo, here I go. You know, somebody's taking a leap of faith towards their star. Somebody's taking a leap of faith towards their sun because they're, they're sick and tired of being in the moon. <laughs> it's all right here, man. I'm going to try and get to that uh, nouveau deck, but it's right here. There's communication. It's my Princess of Pinnacles. This is face-to-face -face meetings, telephone, it's not texting. Hey, maybe, hey, Leo, maybe we can come out of these red flowers, these choppy, these choppy, maybe we can walk past the old uh, Japanese cherry blossom tree of good luck and good fortune. Leo, maybe we can have a new start. Leo, maybe we can go have a cup of coffee and talk. And talk about a whole new world. Talk about a whole new world. They may live at a distance from you. Eight wands, eight wands of passion flying through the air here, huh? Cupid's arrows of love flying around and the world and, and eight of wands can say that maybe they live at a distance from you anymore and the chariot is there as well. There could be some travel, um, communication about meeting up somewhere. It's a whole new world though coming in. Old cycles ending. A new cycle's coming in. It's definitely talks about you seeing yourself as that golden angelic being, seeing the world as your oyster. And ooh la la, here comes my pearl of great prize. This is an amazing spread, Leo. This is love all over. The agape love right in the middle of the spread. The star is the outcome. Immediate future, four of wands. But I got my Leo with this sword raised up. Three of cups insisted on jumping out right there. Happiness, joy, and bliss. Reunion. Wow. All right, love team. A little clarification on this, please. Why is the queen of love and eight of cups in the spread in the heartbeat? Why is it there? Well, it's exactly what I thought. Huh? The queen of swords came out. Is that my Leo right there? Being the ice queen. Got the sword raised up. One step at a time. You need to come in with six pinnacles or just stay wherever you've been at. I know who's been painting my white roses red. Sun card, please. Thank you, love team. The Queen of Pentacles came out. Look at this. The Queen of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles are on this spread. Wow, the sun, the moon, the stars, the King and the Queen of Pentacles. These two hang out for a very long time. A solid, committed relationship between these two, Leo. What is going on, Leo? Whew. 
Woo, this thing got destiny all over it, man. A whole new world coming in here. Moon card, please. Why is the moon card here for my Leo? Wow. Ten swords. This is the sun in Gemini. It's a good card. It means that a very painful cycle is ending for both of these two lovers right here. And a new day dawning. There it is, man. A new day dawning. Yeah, my king and my queen of pentacles, my four of wanda right here. The star shining. Old, painful cycle ending with these two. This is powerful. Sitting right there by the world card. Old cycles ending. New cycles coming in here, man. Wow. Nine of Pentacles crowning the spread for my Leo. Why is it here? Ace of Swords came out. I'm telling you, my Queen of Pentacles. Oh, well, I called her my Queen of Pentacles. My my Nine of Pentacles princess. Because this is a high vibration card for me for a minor arcana. But uh, she is expecting clarity and truth, solid communication, no more smoke and mirrors of the moon. It's a sharp sword, and, and the Queen of Sword has, has showed up twice with this sword right here. And if this person comes in and wants to play any more knucklehead bullshit, I'm not going to play with that. I'm just not going to play with that at all, huh? Going to use that sword to cut things out of your life that no longer serve you for your highest good. That's probably what you've been doing for quite a while to become this Nine of Pentacles princess right here. But... Clarity and truth. See, that's what the Queen of Swords wants. She wants clarity and truth. She's, she's willing to communicate, you know. She's willing to look at the brighter side of life. She wants to. She's smart. <laughs> she knows what's best for her. Yeah. Four of Wands. Let's take a look at it, huh, Leo? What do we got? Four of Wands. Why is it here? Uh, King of Pentacles came out. Man, it's just all over it, ain't it? The king and the queen of pentacles, the sun, the moon, the stars. Uh, they got, got a king of pentacles coming in here. This is somebody that they probably have changed considerably. But nobody will know that better than you, huh? I haven't seen a whole hell of a lot of red flags in this, Leo. Just you being prepared for a red flag. I see that. I see that. I mean, that's the catch right there. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. Queen of Swords, why is she here? <laughs> right there, man. Three cups, happiness, joy, bliss. <laughs> Excitement, reunion possibly. But she has her sword raised up. And if she gets any hint, if she gets any hint, a party's going on that she's not invited to. She's going to cut this person out. Quick. Quick. That's what I see right here, Leo. Six pinnacles, please. Come on. Six pinnacles. You know that's what they need to come in with. Equal give and take. Equal give and take. What do we got? It's the emperor showed up. Sacred masculine energy wanted to play in this spread right here with four of wands, the sun, the moon, the stars. Yeah, the old emperor showed up. Aries may mean something to you, may not. But the old emperor right there, you know, coming in here. Uh, you know, I mean, they could be successful. King of Pentacles, the emperor, they probably are successful. They would need to be to match up with you, Nine of Pentacles, right over there. Definitely going to bring in a golden coin. An offer. Could come suddenly, too, man. I like this spread, Leo. It's really good, man. If you've been waiting for your old emperor to show up, here they come. <laughs> Damn it. The golden coin, you know, the offer. Here's what's on top of that is the old wounded warrior, fire energy, Aries Leo Sagittarius. Been through the battle expecting more of the same. But you know what don't kill you makes you stronger. That's the whole energy behind behind uh, Nine of Wands. You know, he got his walls up right there, but uh, 
They're wands of passion. They're really not much of a wall. And the old wounded warrior has one wand in their hand. That's because they're always about, well, one last push. Let's see if we can manifest this this time. <laughs> Star card for my Leo. Why is that the outcome here? Love it, man. Hey, man, these things are blowing up, man. What do we got here? What do we got? Oh, worth picking up. The golden coin. The golden coin jumped out. That's a solid offer, Leo. That's a solid offer. And uh, this is the, uh, wow, that's interesting. That's the Knight of Wands. It jumped out with that golden coin right there. That's a great adventure, you know, and I can talk about relocation of residency, new career opportunities. Guys may, may be talking about, you know, preparing for the big day. Wow. Mystic Moon, what do we got on this right here for my Leos? This is gorgeous, Leo. Really is, man. These divines are coming together right here. For such a time as this. Such a time as this. All right, what do we got? Mystic Moon. Give me some cards on this for Leo that line up with this spread, please. Thank you. Here we go, Leo. First card right there. Look at that. Cycles. Big old moon again. All these moons and all these eclipses going on. Get ready, man. Going through some cycles right here. And uh, that, that would line up with the world card. Old cycles ending, new cycles coming in. She has a red rose behind her back. She's dressed up nice. She is prepared. She's ready. She's ready for these cycle changes. She knows they're coming. She's ready for them. And I like this right here. What else we got for Leo? The line up with the spread. Thank you. Thank you, love team. Here we go. My Leo's self-worth. Look at that. See, in the midst of this whole journey right here, this is what this whole journey has been about. Leo realizing how amazing they are with or without this divine right here. And they see that you've learned that. They don't want to be without their Leo. This is nice. This is powerful, man. What do we got? One more for Leo right here. Thank you, Mystic Moon. Thank you, love team. <laughs> oh, stuck. I'm telling you, man, they have been stuck like Chuck since the day of eight cups, if that resonates with you. They've been stuck like Chuck in a truck watching you just blow the roof off of the world and also just manifest your self-worth. Oh, there it is right there, huh? Lessons. Somebody's learning some lessons, probably about how to get unstuck from that old moon trail right there. And they've been observing. There it is right there, you know, our princess. They've been watching you somehow, some way. And look at, man, the understanding has coming about how to paint their world the way that they want it to be, like their Leo has done. <laughs> the family, the compromise. Ooh, look at them talking right there. Look at these cards match up. Wow. I don't know, is there a family? I don't know, is there going to be one? I don't know, it's fucking gorgeous, I know that, man. Here we go. Let's play with some love cards on this like we need it. This is amazing love read, man. I'm happy for you, Leo. I'm happy for you. Here we go. What do we got for Leo? This could be the one. I know. I know, Queen of Swords. I know. I know. This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner that you see. Make sure they come in with six pinnacles, Leo. I, I do believe they are. I In this whole spread, I haven't seen a whole lot of red flags. I've seen red flags on Leo's part. Queen of Swords, Nine of Wands, all that. Nobody knows what's best for you better than you. I think this person's really cleaned themselves up. The old King of Pinnacles continue to show up. That is the catch. What do we got right here for Leo? Come on. 
Codependency came out. Isn't that interesting? You know, and that is that old story about self-worth with a story like this. More than drinking and drugging and all that because I haven't seen the devil. But, you know, codependency is about, you know, what she learned right here to love herself more or to love himself more than that other person, you know. And, and you know, these kind of divine loves, they're strong, man. So to learn that, to learn to love yourself more than that divine right there, that's just powerful, powerful stuff, you know. No more codependency issues. If there is codependency, I'm sure that it will show itself up real soon, but I do not see a lot of red flags here. I think that codependency has to do with self-worth, you know, and the whole journey that probably both of these have been on right here. It's very nice getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other. Wow. Your bond deepens. This is nice, man. Leo. Leo. This is because of you. You did this, Leo. Loving on yourself. You did this. You turned the, you turned the tide right here. It's gorgeous. All right, here we go. What do we got for Leo? Thank you, love team. The hermit came out. It's Virgo. Uh, may mean something to you, may not. May have been single for a while, huh? Because, you know, the hermit is the one that's gone down inside, done the inner work, spending time with Source. You know, got some damn little sticks or swords in the heart right there. You know, healing the heart, healing the mind. Hermit card is about astrological alignments lining up. Oh, yeah, the sun, the moon, and the stars are in this spread. about being led and guided by the divine who <laughs> the emperor the emperor showed up again the emperor you know i would say with the hermit and the emperor that um if the old emperor used to be the old wild fire pony right there um they're not anymore uh they uh they're, they're quiet right now a lot of people are a lot of people have uh uh gone inside and done the inner work that they need to do and here they come. Here comes the chariot again one more time. Victory, huh? Victory. And that's the golden chariot right there with our golden warrior driving their chariot towards victory right here. It's an amazing spread. Hope you enjoyed it. No, I did, Leo. Namaste. Went a little long, but I love you, Leo. It was a beautiful read. Hope you enjoyed it. Namaste. Love and light. Talk to you soon, Leo. Bye for now.